Hey everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of XCOM Chimera Squad. The team here is about to go do a sting on a weapons deal involving the group known as Brave Phoenix, which we believe may have been involved in the assassination of Mayor Nightingale. So, this is an important mission and probably going to be difficult. I've got our team here, we've got Godmother and Claymore, Zephyr and Cherub. So, let's get going. Now I'm eager to see how Zephyr does here. I think that she's going to pair really well with Cherub. I think Cherub's shields on her are going to be great. Uh, kind of like with Axiom, but unlike with Axiom, you don't want her to actually take damage. Grey Phoenix thinks they're here to buy weapons, but their supplier doesn't exist because this is a sting. When 3-1-PD realized the buyer was Grey Phoenix, they called us in. I've never been part of a sting before. Thanks, Whisper. I've read the debriefing. All right. We got three entrances. Let's see. Seal the deal. Last unit through this entrance gets three damage. That's great. Good visibility. All units going through here get extra aim. And running start. Units can use run and gun ability on their last turn. Okay. Let's see here. So let's send uh, Zephyr through here first. And who do I want to go through second? Um... Hmm. I guess Cherub. He doesn't do as much damage, so now he'll do a, a much bigger amount of damage. We'll have Claymore go through here, so he gets an aim bonus. And then uh, Godmother can go through there. He'll be able to run and gun and probably get in the cover somewhere. Oh, Alright. Here we go. Okay, Zephyr, who are we going to send you after? There's a, a paladin? What? Okay, there's a paladin right there. There's an aggressive python back there. Guy over there, an adder. We might be able to take out that adder, so let's rush him. Although we're probably going to take quite a few hits. Uh, you know, what does phalanx do? I think that makes it so they attack him instead. Let's do that. Enemies focus fire on Cherub, ignoring other XCOM units in this breach point. Uh, block all damage and gain one charge for each attack. That's a good thing, because otherwise they're all going to shoot Defer in the face, and she's probably going to do bad. Um, although we did lose his bonus damage there going through, so I probably should have sent him through first. Oh well, you'll live and you'll learn. Okay, so this Python is aggressive. Let's go for him first. All right, put him down. Then, oh, she's got terrible shots on, like everybody. Alpha strike, I can't remember what. Godmother fires the shotgun during the breach and will take their next turn earlier in the timeline. Uh, no, let's save it. This was a, a three encounter one, so I guess let's go for that adder back there. Oh, we did it, okay, great. Okay, all in all, it was mostly all directed at Cherub, so that's great. He's gonna run and get into cover over there. Nice, he's got quite a few charges, too. Okay. So, Zephyr is up first. Let's maybe have Zephyr go for... Where's Cherub in the thing? Alright, this guy's gonna go next. So maybe we focus on him. How much damage can we do against this muton? Quite a bit. If we crit, we might we might take him out. Okay, his weapon's disabled. That's good. I'm hoping here that on Cherub's turn we can do his his AOE bash because I think he's got enough charges now, and we can maybe knock out two of these guys. So we're gonna do. How do I want to do parry? He might get shot by multiple people. Um, let, let's, let's hold back. Transferring. Did. Keep moving. Harry's great when you've got maybe just one person you need to worry about, but. Staying close. Of course, that guy needed to reload his weapon. And he's going to move. 
It's a Go normal on. snake. He Get just works going. here. Ignore him. Okay. Let's see. If we do that, it'll kind of go out in a cone from there. Could we... Maybe if we... I think if we do it on this muton here. This guy. Yeah, that could hit two of them. Let's try that. I made the arrest. Awesome. That brought down all of his charges, though. That's all right. Okay. We could take down that guy, although this fella down there has got me a little worried. Mostly that snake. I'm kind of curious if we kill this guy, would that make the snake explode? Probably not. He'd probably just lose his shield. Um, there's only one guy in that room, though, so I am going to move Claymore down here for a nice little flank on this paladin. Hopefully we can just take him out. There we go. Oh, no, it did kill the snake. Great, okay. So then we got Mother Goose up, or whatever her name is. Ventilate. Guaranteed to hit and destroy most of the cover. Return cooldown. Uh, the thing is, I don't think we need to actually just kill my normal shot. Although she knocked him unconscious. She's shooting bean bags. Those are bodyguards. That great phoenix must have a VIP on site to finalize the deal. Is that confirmation? No, but Intel says Grey Phoenix's VIP travel with an entourage. All right. Call out any VIP we have eyes on. Okay, we got two entrances. Fleet-footed. Get mobility for one round. Damage likely. There's a lot of people there. There's no one at this entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Uh... All units entering here. You know what? Let's take this one. Why not? I had Godmother bring our security card. Let's throw in everybody. Breach! 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 Got a big guy there. Let's uh, just shoot him. Oh, she missed. Okay. Uh, we'll shoot him again. The only problem with going through this entrance is we don't get to ambush as many people during the game. And what's the other one? 59. Let's risk it. It'd be worth it if we hit him. Which we did. Not dead yet. That's alright. So... Who do we really want to take out? Uh, let's go for the big guy. Oh, this might not have been the best place to run to. Same number of enemies, it looks like. We just caught them all off guard. Okay, well, Zephyr is right in place to grab that contraband. How do we want to do this? Godmother is up first. There's one guy up top here that if we manage to run up here, we could probably take him out with a nice... Uh, a uh, nice flank there. But he's not next. Next in the turn order. That guy down there is next, and he's got a flank on most of us. So actually, yeah, let's bring Godmother up here. Changing position. And we are going to risk go, go, risk this go. a little bit. Hopefully we can kill this snake in one shot. Looks like we can. Oh! Covering I guess we should have been able to. Okay. So, let's see here. 
Who is in danger of the most? That guy's gonna go next. He'll probably shoot at one of us. Plenty more will be able to go. Number four. Let's throw a shield up on someone. Let's throw a shield up on... Probably Zephyr. Although... Is there another snake? Oh yeah, there's one over there. Let's throw the shield up on Zephyr. Uh, for sure. Shields up. I didn't see that number five at first. So we got the shield up on her. Now he's technically always in half cover, so they're not. He's not actually flanked by that guy. We have a flashbang grenade we could throw out on some people here. Maybe on these two guys. Hit both of them. That might be good. Flash going out. Always lean into the throw. All right, and then could we get a good shot off on... Let's go for that guy. We have a chance to maybe kill him. Nice. I love those enhanced pistols. Okay, so, wow, okay, they're going to all focus on Zephyr. Okay, so Claymore is up next. We have that guy back there. I actually think we're going to focus on... Ooh, we have terrible shots on a lot of people. Let's rotate the, rotate the camera here and try and see why. Now we could move here. Um, where he'd be a little open from that guy, but he's number ninth in the thing. So I think we're going to risk it for now. And I want to try and take out that number three python if we can. All right, let's do this. Oh, he's still standing somehow. Okay, interesting. I'm going to allow it. That's fine with me. Sure, go ahead and attack the tank, by all means. All right, so we could... Oof. All right, so we could take out that guy in Free Cherub. We could attack that guy, although Mother Goose can take him out. God... Godmother or whatever her name is. Um, number four guy, the Legionnaire. Now, I wonder, we might want to go for him if we can, which I don't know if we can. Oh. Let's go for this guy. Because he was at full health, and that way we could take out someone who is little bit hardier and throw up the parry here oh okay the snakes are gonna grab everybody that is okay shifting godmother here is gonna be able to take them down now we have a scatter shot what does this do again this fires the shotgun in a short range cone damaging multiple targets could we get, I think we might be able to get both of them. Hopefully it won't hurt our guys, but we're gonna try it. No, okay, we're not gonna do that. That does give friendly fire. Well, in that case, we are gonna shoot the one that has Cherub, because he's up next in the turn order. Also have to have Cherub, uh, oh! Oh, and he can grab the thing while he's standing there. Great. Uh, contraband. Nice. 
attack has been parried. So let's throw a kinetic shield up on... Oh, who needs it very badly? Probably Zephyr. Maybe Claymore. Uh, let's throw it up on... Let's throw it up on Zephyr. Zephyr has a healing... Uh, a med pack as well we can use, but... Could have probably equipped more people with med packs if we don't have a terminal with us on this mission. Alright, Claymore is back in the fight, and where do we want to send him? We could shoot that, but it wouldn't do anything. Got a bad shot on that guy. Move up for a flank. I could have subdued him, I guess, but he's dead now. It doesn't matter. All right, and we will send Zephyr in to finish the job. No ammo. What is your shot like? Oh, okay. You got a bad shot from up there, Mother Goose. Move in. Moving. Not that it really matters, this guy's going to be stunned for his next turn. Yeah, we don't even have a good shot. Let's let's take a minute and reload, actually. We'll move in with somebody else who can get in closer. Arab, maybe? VIP must be up ahead. Subdue if you can. We'll get far more intel from a live VIP. Cover me to the VIP and I'll get a subdue. Okay, we only got one breach point. Let's see here. All units entering get plus 25 defense. That's great. Last unit gets one armor for the whole encounter. That is great. So, uh, last person we're going to send in is going to be Defer. Most definitely. And target analyzer, we can get a 50. Let's do that. Let's get use his target analyzer, get some extra crit. Reaching in. Okay. 99. Let's try and focus the hostile people. Go for the snake. Oh, dang it. Okay. Go for the snake again. There we go. Alpha strike. I can't remember what this does. Fires the shotgun during the breach and will take their turn earlier. That's always good. Um, uh, what's a normal attack? Okay. Let's go for... Let's... Bad shot on that guy. Why not? All right, and let's rush him. Oh, she's not happy that you shot at her. She's gonna kick you in the face. Subdue is able. Okay, so we need to subdue the VIP. Or kill him, but we're going to try and capture him. Uh, Alright, so Cherub is up first. Let's put shields up on people. Um, probably actually on... Uh, probably on... Oh, he can't see them, so... Okay. Um, well, I guess let's put one up on himself. And we got the VIP there. What I think we'll do is we will have uh, Godmother shoot him with her tranquilizing rounds. And then we can try and take him out that way. 
There's a lot of guys in here, like a lot of guys. All right, who's first up in the turn meter? That's what. Oh. Not a really great shot on him at all. Um, who else can we target? This guy. Okay, he's like third. We'll go for him. Maybe. 77 is not bad. Not going to be enough to take him out before his turn. I probably should have focused someone a little farther down. Ooh. Good choice for kinetic shield, I guess. controlling he did oh that is bad okay that is very bad shoot 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 okay well that that sectoid needs to die then like uh, immediately um as soon as we can anyway let's see here well uh godmother's next in the turn she can run over and maybe get a flank on that guy back there be putting herself out there unfortunately but we're just gonna have to probably risk that there's all these guys in the turn before zephyr mostly that guy the villains in here so i don't want to use any grenades really um take out the snake 75 let's take out this snake Oh, and a miss. Not doing real great. Not doing really great in here. Okay, but Godmother is up. Where can we put her where she won't be completely horribly blank? Ventilate. Uh, destroy most of its cover. Flush. Scattershot. If we could hit two guys with Scattershot, that'd be nice, but I don't see how. Uh, basically, though, this Sectoid needs to die. Um, we could subdue him, like, although might as well just shoot him in the face. That guy is going to shoot us in the back once we do, but we have to get Cherub back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go and oh cherub has a turn immediately that is great okay uh well we're gonna throw a shield up on godmother then and what are we gonna have him who are we gonna have him shoot? let's not shoot that guy we can try and shoot the muscle maybe we'll get a crit not quite. That would have been great. Oh well. We can easily take him down Go next away. turn. Ooh, okay. Claymore needs a shield. He is beat up. Miss. Oh, You're still in okay. The fight. Oh, perfect. Okay. So if we kill that sectoid, then him and the, uh, the muton will die. Oh, that is not great. That is really bad. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Where's the guy that's going to go next? Oh, is it the VIP? The VIP is going to go next. Okay. Uh, well, we got to try and free... We got to try and free... Arab. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, though, this turn. Maybe we should not. Maybe we should... Well, we might be able to. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do here. 
Okay, yeah, that did, that did. We didn't kill him, but we got him to let go of him at least. Now we're gonna dash over here so that next turn we can stabilize. Play more. Out of my way. Good but we don't get shot in the meantime. All right, Cherub is up. Looking a little worse for wear. We're gonna throw a shield up on Zephyr. Popping and blocking. Actually, this might this might be good. Let's use our charge bash. We angle this just right. We can hit. Did it knock that guy out? Yes, we can knock out two people with it. Although if we do it this way, we might also be able to hit the VIP, but it, it would knock him out. It's not enough damage. Reducing profile. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Godmother, I need you to kill that sectoid. Like, he has to kill him. So let's use your... Can we use your vent ventilate ability? I guess it's 100% shot on him either way. So let's just move over and get right up there close to him. Shoot him in the face for 100%. All right, there we go. He's down. That also took out the... Uton over there. All right, we need to stabilize. Play more. And then we have one action left. Now, do we want to beat? Do we want to beat the VIP? Probably, because he's about to move. Um, let's see if we can knock him out. Nice. Subdued hostile. You must do bonus uh, subdue damage. It seemed that way anyway. Okay. Just got the one guy left. Let's have Cherub go over for a flank. And this should wrap it up in here. Buttoned up. Not bad. We got we got good. Uh we took a bit of a beating without terminal there to heal us up, but we we did it. We didn't. We we did it. We we had one person go down, but they're not dead. Just probably scarred mentally and physically. All right. Oh, cool. Okay. Our improvised assembly or improved assembly is complete. Blue blood is done with his training. Cool. 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 Great job. No arms dealer is willing to risk a deal with Grey Phoenix. Not with Chimera Squad in town. All right. Who's the next operation? Okay, disrupt their leadership. You've experienced Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. That will give us... Dark Event feels bold enough to use civilian hostages as pawns. Oh, I don't particularly like the sound of that. Stop alien abductions. Uh... We've connected Grey Phoenix to a recent bat of alien abductions in Serity Thor 1. Find out why Grey Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Uh, and okay. What are those? Praetorians? Leadership or stop the abduction? Let's stop the abductions. Everyone seems pretty grumpy about that on the on the radio. That might get us some kudos. Although I do want to know who this leader is. He looks like a rock. All I'm, all I'm saying. Okay, so... Why did you leave your resistance group? After the war, the skirmishes opened to all hybrids who rejected Advent. Good deal for clones. A new identity for those without one. That sounds positive. Is it? I'm no clone. Records say I was Australian, but I don't remember that girl. Nothing about her life. 
How could I build a new future with them if I don't know my past? There's no place for me. Not anywhere. I disagree. Profoundly. It's not that simple, but thanks, mate. Alright, so I think I'm going to send Godmother to do... Oh, wait. Uh, they're about a scar. I wonder what it does. Weekend. Um, doesn't really be here. Oh, HP reduced by three. That is a pretty big deal, but he does have a we pretty large to a health pool already. Of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Oh, we have an emergency. We need to go deal with that. So that'll be fun. Uh, we can put a district unrest freeze. Let's do that on downtown. And we'll go deal with that emergency here in a second. So I'm thinking for training, um, Blue Blood's all caught up. Axiom's all caught up. Zephyr is... She can get the basic one. So can Claymore. I want to get everybody those very soon. It might be good to, to get those now. Let, let's send Claymore to get his. And um, we'll figure out who we take next time in his place. Axiom or Blue Blood? Probably Axiom. We, I, I, let's bring Axiom again. Axiom's great. And I want to have Blue Blood, though, because I want to see how he's doing in terms of damage with those, those upgraded pistols we got. So let's bring him in place of Godmother. I want to keep bringing Zephyr out and get her kind of ranked up a little bit more. And we'll assign Godmother over here with Verge on the uh, assembly table. And we need to pick a new project here, too, so... Let's see, tactical breach equipment, breach explosives, master armor. That'll take quite a few days and be expensive, but I think it'd be worth it. Master crafted pistols. Enhanced assault rifles. We could get uh, several projects done in the time it would take us to get one of these master crafted ones, but still, I might be worth it. Or we could go for one of these other kind of fun things that I have no idea what they are, like... Uh, Progeny equipment. Ooh, Talon rounds are nice. Urncoat grenade. That sounds cool. Let's go for these progeny side grenades, and let's get both of these progeny things, I think. And, um, yeah, that could be cool. So let's go for, um, let's go for this one first, because I want the Talon rounds. And, actually, no, let's go for the side grenades first. Sounds just a lot of fun. All right, scavengers markets here. We could get a plasma grenade or a targeting system. Ooh, armor penetration rounds. Yep, we're gonna grab those. And then while I'm thinking about it, before I spend all my intel on fun stuff there, we need to upgrade something else here. So we got a rank three one there. Uh, this place is kind of crazy. Let's Let's rank up this one. Getting a little out of hand there. And I don't think we have... Oh, we have enough money to rank up. Uh, we could rank up the security one over here if we wanted. There's someone else that has a security one. Let's rank up up here in the corner where everything crazy is happening. All right. We just got to keep ranking those up. Should be in good shape. So, uh, we have an emergency here. 31 PD requests all hands to help contain an outbreak in this district. Get there fast and contain the threat. We'll update you as we have more information. All right. The so dark event, there'll be Shrike mercenaries. Sounds pretty Hostile crazy. forces aren't our only problem. Advent left many dormant threats in its wake. If the city faces an outbreak, it's our responsibility to protect civilians from this threat. Dormant threats? What does that mean? Are we going to have, like, chrysalids running around or something? Oh, I hope not. Okay. Well, I think this is the team we are going to roll out with. A lot of melee, actually. A lot of melee. That's okay. This is a this is a meaty team. A very meaty team. Plus Blue Blood. He's also there. 
So I'm going to get them kitted out with some equipment. And next time, we are going to roll out and stop an outbreak in the fringe.